We set out to build the biggest, baddest, strongest target on the market, and that target is the Goliath target. We tested it in ways that we don't recommend. We went above the level that most people are ever going to see on that target just to prove a point. And the point we're proving is we have the best, the biggest, and the strongest target on the market that's designed specifically to handle your big four caliber rifles. We had it down at Knob Creek at the machine gun shoot. That was the first time we tested it with machine guns. We're at Knob Creek. We're walking out the 200 yard mark. Right now we're setting up our Goliath target. We donated it to Knob Creek and we're going to see them shoot the crap out of it. So this should be a good time. We tested it with belt fed 50s, 308s, 30 odd 6s, 7.62 by 54 Rs, and even cannons. And eventually, the target down at Knob Creek did split, and that was due to the minigun. There was a Dillon minigun down there that shot 4,000 rounds a minute, and that's what it took to actually fracture the plate. But the interesting part of that is it didn't actually penetrate. So none of the APIs, none of the black tips, none of the incendiaries actually penetrated our plate, and that's due to that movement and the strength of the steel. It absorbs all of that energy. Just this past weekend, we were up at the Shooter's Gaunt, and we tested it again. We shot it with machine guns and we actually even shot it with a 38 millimeter cannon in which the round had a 50 caliber API in the tip of it. So when it hit, it exploded. And even that did not penetrate our target. So again, we don't recommend you use this target in this way, but we're testing it in this way to give you confidence so that when you set it up at 100 yards to sight in your new Barrett or any other big bore caliber rifle, that you have the confidence to know that you can shoot it time and time and time again with approved well, ammunition <laughs> and not have a failure. I didn't... Everybody ready? Oh yep. yeah.